Good evening, YouTube. It's your boy, Kane the Boss. After a large amount of hate comments, I received uh, exactly two um, out of the four comments. So half my comments were hate comments. Actually, 75% because one person made fun of my bed sheets. But uh, I was told that my unboxing video was bad. Well, no shit. All my unboxing videos are bad. You would know that if you watched the fucking zone shirt unboxing that I uploaded fucking sideways like three fucking goddamn years ago. But some people may not know that. So that's fine. So I decided I don't want to do a part two to the unboxing video or redo it. That'd be dumb because it's already out of the package. It's right here, dumbass. But um, figured why not? I'll just review it. I'll review the album, because I remember everything about it. I've listened to it, like, a million times. So, here's the here's the fucking centerfold thing, or whatever, again. Uh, there's, there's the art by Kate Wirtz, who, you know, the album's about. Um, this album is called Twin Fantasy, Mirror to Mirror, an album by Will Toledo, a.k.a. Car Seat Headrest, you know, probably my favorite band of all time, right next to Animal Collective. And let's just start right now, here. So the album was made by Will Toledo in 2011, and uh, it's about him, I think. There's a couple bops on there, a couple good songs, a bunch of shit. And uh, it starts off with a song called My Boy, which uh, My Boy is very short, has very few lyrics, but it's very powerful in that it's just a drum beat, it's some guitar, and then it gets way bigger because Will's screaming, and just sort of goes like, My boy, we don't see each other much. I know I got the note wrong there because I can't fucking sing, but yeah, it's a good song. We eventually starts screaming that, and he says, We won't be alone. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Just, we won't be alone shows up a few times again on the album. <laughs> The next song, which is also one of the greatest songs ever made, is 12 minutes long. It's uh, called Beach Life and Death, which I guess you could call it a sequel to the Beach Saga sort of thing of songs on the previous Car Seat Headrest album from 2010 called Three, back when Will Toledo was just making albums every well, like once a month and numbering them. And uh, there was songs like Beach Fags. Beach Fags, everyone. Fag. Anyway, Beach Life and Death is a three-part song, and it's about a lot of stuff. Uh, it starts with, uh, last night I drove to Harbors Ferry and I thought about you. There were signs on the roads that had warned me and stop signs. The speed limit kept decreasing by ten as we entered the town about halfway there. It was almost raining at the train station. We put our hoods on our heads at the train station. We threw rocks into the river, the river underneath the train tracks. So yeah, he's talking about a train and some other shit. And then eventually starts talking about other stuff, and then he just says, what should I do, eat breakfast, or should I eat lunch, blah, blah, blah. It's sort of like some inner thoughts and stuff, and it's sort of like, I don't know, maybe being bored with life, or perhaps, you know, the monotony, like, I don't know, like bringing, bringing it to the, the, the frontal view. I don't know what word to use there, because I'm dumb. But, uh, you know, he starts screaming, I'm completely soulless, I'm incapable of being human, I, I'm living in control of me, blah, blah, blah. Mentions anti-depression, um, and then there's the famous part where he's like, Do you have something against dogs? Which, you know, after he mentions the dog motif, which, if you can't tell, Will Toledo is probably a furry. Never really confirmed it, but we know he's a furry. We know you will. Better than you know yourself. I'm kidding. Um, and then... Part two of the song sort of starts after he screams, I don't want to go insane. I don't want to have schizophrenia. The ocean washed over your grave. Yada yada. And then part two, which is very underrated. It's my favorite part of the song because it's got like this guitar going. Going through it. And he said, last night I dreamed I, he was trying to kill you. I woke up and I was trying to kill you. Uh, it's been years since we first met. I don't know if we're boyfriends yet. Boyfriend. Now, Will Toledo is probably gay or bi or something, so just keep that in mind. And, um, you know, there's, there's some good stuff. He says, get more groceries, get eaten, which, uh, my game theory is that li that line's about vor. It's probably not, probably not, but 
vor. <laughs> and then he says, Book of Arbor, Beards of the Art, Corrupted Me, and Youth, Natural Society, blah, blah, blah. He says a lot of stuff. And then part three, uh, he, talks, he talks about years perking up, trying to kill people again, the ancient scene of coming Walt Disney Studios ruining people. He censored Walt Disney Studios and the writing of the lyrics, but he says it, so it doesn't fucking matter. And he screams, we're too scared to do shit! And then, like, it's, it's all fucking glitchy, because he's fucking around in audacity, fucking with his voice and shit, making it sound all wacky. And then after that, the song ends, basically. And then there's a song, Stop Smoking, which is a one-minute song. And it's like, stop smoking, we love you, because whoever the album's about, I have no idea who it's about. Um, it's probably about Kate Ward. It's just, just, just a game theory. I mean, um, yeah. And, uh, maybe they smoke. Who knows? Maybe they smoked at the time and it was a problem. I don't know. I'm not the genius here. And then there's Nervous Young and Humans, which is an amazing song, uh, and is way better. And actually, it's about the, it's about the same as the face-to-face -face version. I haven't been really talking or comparing them, but yeah, every song I've covered so far is better in the Mirror to Mirror version, but... This is the first song where I think the face-to-face -face version is a bit better because the lyrics uh, are changed in Nervous Young and Humans quite a bit in the face-to-face -face version, but I don't, I don't want to get into that. The the mirror-to-mirror -mirror version is good. It mentions galvanism. There's a whole rant about galvanism at the end. It's very silly and art student-y. It's really cool. Anyway, on to the next. On to the next little, little discal, d disc thing, dick. I wonder if they put the hidden lyrics that are in Famous Prophets' minds. Because that would be cool. Because that would reveal a bit. But I doubt it. Um, next we have the greatest track on the album, right next to Beach Life and Death. We have Bodies. This song's, uh, imagine getting bodied by absolute quality. Yeah, um, you know, oh, it's, it's just a fucking dance song about a lot of stuff, and it plays with song structure and breaking the fourth wall. There's so many amazing lyrics. It's like, it's, it's, it's about love, I guess, and dancing. It's so much. It's so good. I just, mm, this, oh, there's just a build up to a chorus, and it's just, it's just fucking when we dance. It's magical. The first few fucking times I hear that song, I was like almost in tears because of how fucking amazing it was. And then comes Cute Thing, which is, um, if I had a girlfriend, I'd probably make out to her with a song playing. I'm pretty sure they said that on the Matador Records website, too. Um, when I was buying this. <laughs> uh, it starts with Will Toledo doing his classic little yelp where he goes, Ah! I got so fucking romantic, I apologize. Let me light your cigarette. <laughs> Cigarettes come back. Um, and you know, the lyrics in this song are a cute thing, don't be a rude thing, a lot of stuff. He mentioned Stanley Kubrick, you know. He, said, he switches the word God and dog a bit. It's, it's cool. I like it. And then there's fame... Oh wait, fuck. Skipped, almost skipped high to death. The... The worst song on the album, in my opinion. It's way better in the face-to-face -face version. There's some things I like about High to Death on this version, but it's just not not really the best. It's sort of, it's super lo-fi. You can't really hear what Will's saying. However, there is a reprise of Stop Smoking. But in the reprise to Stop Smoking, there is this thing where it's like, keep smoking, I love you, keep smoking, I still love you but I don't want to die, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. And they appear to have not put that here. There's also a little thing in fucking <laughs> brackets. It says the breakdown. There's no caps. The breakdown. Yes. And there's famous prophets in parentheses. Oh wait, no, not even parentheses. In in little little holder things. I don't know what the fuck the literary term is. That little, little logograms, famous prophets, minds, 
And uh, this is a 10 minute song. It's got a really cool bass line. It goes like And it goes, you know, apology. This is sort of like the ending of this, this relationship that's been covered in this album. And it's sort of like Blah, 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 fuck, I don't want to try and sing even more, but he talks about a lot of stuff. Okay, yeah, he didn't put the little secret lyrics that show up at like seven minutes in. But this song's really good. He sings about, you know, twin bruises on my shins from where I kicked the back of the seat in. They meant what I went through for you, but now they're fading. Now they're gone. And, you know, these teenage hands will never touch yours again. You had a body, you had hands and arms and legs and etc. And you know, and you know, he says some other stuff, you know, don't be, don't get too impressed. You might lose your breath. Don't predict, don't predict your death. Cause I like you the best. The ocean washed over your grave, blah, blah, blah. And he screams like for three transgressions of words and blah, blah, blah. I will not revoke the punishment, but mentioning words, his name, Kate words who I believe at this time had not transitioned. They are trans, I believe. Don't don't fact check me. I'm not the best with everything. And then um, there's a little thing at the end of the song where it's like, he said, blah, 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 Lord, blah, 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 Lord, blah, blah, Lord, Lord, Lordy Jesus. And then there's Twin Fantasy, Those Boys, which is a nice little organ piece. It reuses, um, little vocal from the song Sunburn Shirts from the Sunburn Shirts EP or My Back is Killing Me Baby. Uh, pick, pick one really. Sunburn Shirts EP doesn't exist anymore. Um, and My Back is Killing Me Baby That's another Car Seat Headrest album that was made right before Twin Fantasy. And uh, it's I haven't looked at the sun for so long I've forgotten how much it hurt too. And it means a lot. In, in terms of the album and what's it about, or what it what it's about. But, you know, the show ain't over. It had, it was a lot, of, a lot of interesting stuff. I'm sorry if I'm just, I'm just rambling about songs in the album. He says a lot, and a lot's changed in the lyrics in the face-to-face -face version, and I'll talk about that now, because I can. I'm not gonna hate on the face-to-face -face version because it is extremely good. It's an amazing revisit to this album. I just don't think it's amazing as the original album. I don't think you could come to that. Because Will Toledo's feelings were probably super strong at the time that he was making the original album. And face-to-face -face is like a revisiting. Like he's coming face-to-face -face with it. Get it? It's funny. It's artistic. Totally. And, you know, that's why there's lyrics changed, because he feels different about how things have turned out and how things have changed since the, w originally making it. Because he was a younger person, way younger. Twin Fantasy Mirror to Mirror came out in 2011, and then the new album came out just this year, in 2018, but I think it was recorded in 2016. So, like, you know, that's five, or five to seven years of time. That's a lot. It's a lot to think about. And the lyrics in Twin Fantasy, those boys in Face to Face, which I don't have in front of me, are different. Not entirely different, but different. Also, Face to Face version is way more hi-fi. This is a very lo-fi rock album. But, yeah, this, this, this version of Twin Fantasy, those boys, the title track, uh, ends with... Uh, this is the part of the song where Will gives up. He disassociates himself from his own romance until it becomes just a fantasy. This is not something that could happen to him. This is something that takes place only in his mind. But he blinks now, shakes himself awake. He has rejoined society. Come to your children, call no more. He has only lyrics now. Yeah, it, it's beautiful, really. Um, and he says, when I come back, you'll still be here. And it's really, it's the best way he could have ended the album, you know? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that one part in Q thing. Never mind. He just, he just will sleep, screams, I would sleep naked next to you naked. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. It's a very lovey dovey song. Cute thing. I got sidetracked there. Overall, though, this is probably my favorite album of all time. 
I got I got the album <laughs> cover as a tattoo. It's it's just so amazing and I I wanted to make a video about it for a while, but you know, I'm not really a planner outer of videos and such, so there you go. Uh goodbye you guys. Buy my album when it comes out, December twenty fourth. Paul Kane dies. Very artistic. Not as good as Twin Fantasy. I'll never make something as good as this. I hope I will someday, but probably won't. Love you, all of my subscribers. Good eye. Go die. I mean, fuck. Good night.